All right, time for, um, well, it isn't Monday, but uh, this looks pretty good. Uh, yes, uh, what we're going to be talking about was recently named the 44th most delicious dish in the world. And traditionally, the ingredients are simple. French fries, gravy, cheese curds. A uniquely Canadian creation that's actually creating a culinary community on Vancouver Island. They meet. The company's fantastic. To eat. It's like a delicious kind of comfort food. 16 strangers. A diverse and different group every time out. Connecting over uniquely Quebec cuisine. So it reminds me of being in Montreal. This is Victoria's poutine. Last year there was a group of us at uh, Clive's Classic Lounge having some poutine and uh, one of the gals with us said, wouldn't it be great to go around and try the different poutines in Victoria? And she said, oh, we wouldn't call it poutine team, it, we would call it poutine. A traditional meal organized through contemporary means. Everybody's basically connecting because they're on Twitter and they want to try poutine. United by hashtag poutine. 16 of them gather every month or so to recognize the possibilities of fries, cheese curds, and gravy. And it's, it's open to all these variables. Like it's like different cheeses, different gravies. And it's kind of like ice cream sundae almost, you know, with toppings, uh, except, except savory. This, the 15th restaurant they've tried. So every place has got a little bit of a twist on it, and that makes it interesting. The Heron Rock Bistro serves five different poutines, including duck confit, pulled pork, and bacon and blue cheese. Stilton cheese or Manchego cheese and the Hertel's bacon, the local bacon here from Vancouver Island. Um, we're using quality ingredients. While they celebrate culinary creativity, the poutine demands quality fundamentals. I mean, you want a crispy fry, nice uh, squeaky cheese curds, uh, a delicious gravy. While they often leave satisfied. Okay, you go home feeling full. A poutine member is never really satiated. Who doesn't want to go eat poutine as often as possible, really? And you'll find the Heron Rock Bistro in Victoria's James Bay neighborhood on Simcoe Street. And for details on when and where the next poutine meeting is, you can just search Twitter for hashtag poutine. And finally this hour, uh, from comfort food uh, to luxury technology, take a look at what is being called the world's most opulent computer. They are made in Paris with gold-plated flat screens, marble bases, and leather-clad keyboards. They're being sold as functional decorative items that are in harmony with customers who live in palaces and castles. The French company makes three models, the Louis XV, the Louis XVI, and the Empire. Prices begin at $21,000. No word on the price of those handcrafted gold and jewel-encrusted memory sticks. Looks cheesy. Looks cheesy. No, the poutine looks cheesy. <laughs> no, too easy. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want one of those, but I'd like a plate of that poutine. That'll look good. Yeah. How do we join the team? Hashtag, Hashtag poutine. 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 You'd join actually be quite good at it. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I like poutine. Not too often, though. All right, Sparky. Okay. Thank you.